Hey spotties, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the Papal Empire. Now we're playing with a couple of mods and I just want to remind you it's mainly the Chaos Quick UI and the uh, Yet Another's Map Pack, although I don't think we're actually using one of those and we're also using the JFC Civ Pack, the Papal States. It's only a couple of mods so I'm not going to really put them in the description of the video, although I'll probably think about it. Anyway, look, uh, let's jump right back into things. So we're going to go over here to the next turn. Uh, looks like we were getting ready to settle another city. We also have to worry about China over here, who seems to uh, be a little bit aggressive with their settlements. I think... Oh, sorry, I was getting ready to settle over here. That's right, because I wanted to capture this um, natural wonder. So I want to do a little bit of exploration just to know a little bit more about this area. Um, I'm a little bit scared of settling near Scythia, but I think it's necessary to grab this. This could be a really useful... Uh, natural wonder in order for me to get extra science and stuff so I'm going to I'm going to try and settle there if I can um, this would be the perfect place for a holy site actually okay so we do have to be a little, a little bit careful over there so my question is I still have the plus 50% production towards settlers I'm trying to remember why I made a builder here when really when I wanted more settlers uh, it's been a couple of days since I've played the last episode or two. So we just unlocked currency. We're going to want to unlock... Let's see... We're definitely going to want to unlock ancient walls, I think, to keep us safe. So I'll go ahead and I'll unlock ancient walls. I will grab this archer. I'm going to heal that archer up in the terrain over here. Then we will go to next turn. Holy sight is... Ooh, this is kind of scary. Hopefully that unit is just exploring. Yeah, we will be settling very, very close to them. But I'm hoping to counterweight that by putting an extra couple of settlements inside the interior. So I have a builder coming online now. That's going to be really good. All right, let's have a now look. <clears throat> we have a mine, we have a farm, we have a plantation. Trying to see, are there any more like particular resources we could get online? I could purchase this over here and I will purchase that because it's a really good tile. Uh, four food and one hammer is really, really good. And then I'm going to improve that. Run over there with that guy. Um, I might keep some of these river forests because they can be upgraded to be essentially like mines, which is pretty damn good. Um, so I might keep some of those. I might put like some farms over here perhaps, or maybe I'll put the commercial hub there. We'll have to think about exactly how we're going to do things. Um, so let's grab... Oh, you know what I was going to do? Working the campus is a really cool idea, but more settlers is actually kind of also a really cool idea. Um... God, I think I think I just don't I think I just can't afford to go for the campus right now. I think I just kind of have to go for settlers and then hope I can pull back in science. Um Oh god, maybe I maybe I can't afford to ignore the campus right now. Uh Oh wait, I'm going to pick up science from settling the city. So actually Going for settlers here is perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I think that's justifiable. Then I'll send you back into the city. A okay. little bit of military activity over here from them. Politics is the art so the only tile I won't grab is this one if I settle right here. So that's going to be a totally acceptable place for me to settle. New government available. Um, I think I'm going to go for the classical republic. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, why don't you give me plus two influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys. I would also like to pick up plus one production in every city. And I would also like plus 50% production towards classical era melee and ranged units. Okay, we will do that. Plus one production should actually really help out a lot of these cities in terms of how long it's going to take them to build certain things. Like this city had pretty low production, but now it has a much better stream of production. 
Yeah, I'll do a little bit of exploring around. Ooh, and an empty barbarian encampment. I might be able to snag that, actually. So we're just one turn away. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any stone things that I could work. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so this is an archer. I will get you to just hang out here until that settler is finished, and then I'll make a decision about how to move you around the world. Okay, I'm going to drop a plantation here because I want the second copy of Spices. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to start a trading relationship with Scythia. Um, because I'm hoping... Oh, does she already have Spices? Damn. She already has Spices, which is no good. So who will not have that? Who is my other big threat? Well, China is really close to me, so I think I'm going to trade this to China. China. What would you give me for this? Oh, yeah, I'll take that. That seems like a perfectly reasonable deal. So they're going to take the spices. They're going to give me a bit of gold. And the hope is that that will, uh, the trading, the trading relationship will improve us. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping also to make friends with Tomiris. <laughs> I'm going to see if, I'm going to try and avoid declaring surprise wars, although... I'm probably going to come into conflict with Scythia based on the settler ideological differences. Yeah, that's okay, China. I know I know you're crazy for wonders, but you can you can live that life. I'm gonna live my life and and hopefully we'll get by without too much issue. Okay, I'm gonna settle in over in this location. So I have a few options here that I could do. I could purchase the gypsum, and I might just do that because of the extra amenities it could give me here, which would be an extra 5% yield on everything uh, throughout most of my empire, actually. Uh, I could pick up that gypsum. Now that would, it's an expensive choice, but I think it is worth it to get early amenities. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do a little bit more exploration. I suppose I'll hit him just for the fun of it. I'll go to next turn. Looks like our settler is in position now. All right, you uh, fortify until you're healed. Our settler is in position now, so we will be able to found a city here. And uh, I'm going to purchase this tile just because it's really, really good. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a fast builder into a monument. Uh, I'd also like an archer here. So I think I'll go archer first to keep the city safe. And then I'll go build a monument spearman to keep this. Uh, and hopefully that'll be enough defensive units. Oh, I already have an archer here, actually. So I could probably... Just go Builder, Monument, Archer, Archer. Yeah, Builder, Monument, Archer, Archer. That seems reasonable. So that plus two science, it might not seem like a big deal, but it's actually going to help me a lot. Considering I was only making like nine science last turn. Uh, I'm going to end the turn now. Okay, we're going to stick down a quarry, and that's actually going to finish off masonry for us, which is really good. Now we can build walls. That's something I am going to build over here, though. Uh, walls. In fact, I might even build walls before the archers. We'll do something like this. Build our monument walls. Uh, let's go ahead and start. So we just got walls, which are going to keep us safe. I think we're also going to want to... Did we ever pick up any iron? I don't think there is any iron in my empire. There is one over here, so I will go ahead and research. Uh, I could go for apprenticeship. <laughs> Water mills could be okay. I think I'll just go for a fast education. Let me get those... Uh, because I need to keep up in science, right? To keep myself safe. Well, no, is that really going to help me? What's going to help me with a religious victory? I think military units are going to help me with a religious victory. Your people settled too close. Apologies, I will look elsewhere in the future. So I'm going to try and avoid settling too close to her. Uh, looks like we already have some missionaries coming out. So if you stay fortified, you should theoretically win this fight. 
Um, I'm gonna send you down to get these dyes online because I just want extra amenities here so that my empire can um, get the bonuses from having a lot of amenities. I will not abide sacrilege, pay for my black. Okay, so he doesn't like me because I have a different religion. So we survived here and we actually managed to win and we got a little bit of experience out of it. Okay, so this settler. Uh, there's a few places I want to settle. I don't want to settle down here. I want to settle in here, in here, in here. So three more settlers. Um, I'm thinking I want to bridge this gap over here as early as possible. Let me have a look at the terrain here. I want to capture this. So one, two, three. So that would leave me with quite a bit of room. So I might settle like in between here. As that'll capture like the most stuff that's nearby. Okay. I'm going to have you fortify until you're healed and then I'll go into my next turn. Oh, you know what I need? To I think I'm going to finish the campus now. I think I think, think it's necessary. I don't want to fall too far behind in science. Um, I'm going to pick up an envoy with a Yerevan. They want me to send a trade route. What does Candy want? Send a trade route also. Uh, that's something I could definitely do when my trader is done. When he comes back, he shouldn't be too many turns away. I will send one to Yerevan though because I want the plus two faith. An extra plus two faith is a pretty nice thing to get. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next turn. So we're going we're going for the campus, which is good news. Only six turns away from that. And then after the campus, I'll go for a couple of settlers. And then that, that should round out my empire to the point where I can uh I can compete. So this is gonna be a huge amount of faith from this particular one. This particular uh holy site. Uh, the shrine giving food is definitely something I want to pick up because this city is a little bit food starved. It also needs a builder. So I think I will go like shrine granary. And that'll help the city grow. And uh, then maybe I'll pick up a monument. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Then we'll go into next turn. I have a settler in position now. <laughs> Ravenna, I'm going to say, hey, pick up that monument. And then we'll have a look at you when you're done getting that monument. And I'll go next turn. I will be able to place a really good holy site down here somewhere to capture all these tundra tiles. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get the... Uh, like I said, I was going to get the uh, the dyes online. Although I hope... Who did I trade with? I think Did I trade with China? I think, I, he, I think he gave me chocolate, right? Yes. So I need to pick up some more of these... Uh, I need to pick up some more amenities to sell them to people, like this cotton over here. Uh, are we building a builder? I don't know if a builder is the right choice here. Maybe a commercial hub is the right choice here. Go for a fast commercial hub. Get an extra trade route. Use this city as the center of production. Go for like... Yeah, actually. Use the city as a trading destination. Grab like encampment. No, 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 no. I would want to do that on the coast over here. Yeah, that would be better to do this on the coast. So instead, I could, I could go for a holy site, but I think I actually have enough faith production. I need to do some other stuff. So I, I think... I think the build is a great idea, but I think I just need stuff like, I think I just need an early campus somehow, or maybe like a commercial hub. I think the early commercial hub could be a big deal, actually. So I'll, I'll drop down a commercial hub and I'll, I'll get that going early. Um, and then I'll just let the city kind of grow naturally a little bit. Okay, I'll shoot this guy and then I'll send you back into alert next turn. We're going to start filling out these borders with land capture here soon, I hope. Next turn. Oh, goodness. Okay, I need to worry about this. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a missionary here just so I have the ability to recapture my holy city in case they try to spread their fate to me. Because they do have Catholicism, which is worrying. Uh, okay, so this trader, I'm going to send this to Candy, I think, because I want an extra envoy with Candy. Which I think then entitles me to send to Candy an extra suzerainty, which will give me plus two faith on my holy sites, right? Yeah, that's a nice thing to do. This city finished its holy site too, so I'm actually generating a hell of a lot of um, faith right now. So I think what I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna get started early on the spreads. I think I'm gonna make my way over here, and I'm I'm gonna get a couple of early missionaries to see if maybe that could help out my my game. I'll send like a missionary up this way, see if I can capture some of these cities. Then I'll send one down here and see if I can maybe get Myriv. And maybe that'll make Tamiris a little bit more friendly with me. So what do you go to Ravenna? Uh, unit needs orders. There's a couple of little scary units running around down here. It looks like they managed to get the great person who steals the tile. The bank gets two great work slots. Ooh, Renaissance guy. That's actually really cool. I'm hearing you want to celebrate your rule. Okay, so he, he notices my people are happy, which is good. Yeah, we have plus four amenities, which is great. Um, okay, we have an archer in this city. We're going for a builder next turn. They'll need two settlers. One over here to build the um, production trade center. I am going to spread the faith to my own cities. Purely because... Purely because I want it to be in uh, for the, the combat unit, the defender of the faith thing. Um, I'm going to spread this. I guess I'll have to do two spreads or something. I'm going to probably want to start an Inquisition as well. <laughs> uh, unit needs orders. Like, they already have pikemen, which is kind of scary. So, Tomiris is in a fairly okay, we're fairly neutral with them. Saladin seems pretty happy with me. Um, or Achthaladin, or whatever you call him, I don't know how to say his name. I'm going to spread my religion here because I want to keep this city firmly in my grasp. Uh, and then I'm going to see if I can spread to Shanghai next turn. Or, you know, I'll spread to Hong Kong. No, I'll, I'll spread to uh, my Riv. So we'll go into the city, spread your religion. There we go. So we have our religion pretty well spread now, at least for an early game position. <laughs> See if I can scout along here. Looks like I did do a settler block on them, which is good news. It's, it looks like they're coming up maybe around this way to settle up here in this direction. Is the of an okay, so when we have two more envoys, we will send them to maybe... Let's see, Candy is Natural Wonders. Ooh, Yerevan would actually be really good, so I'm going to save up for Yerevan. I want to spread to Myriv if I can. Next turn. I want to be careful with my explorer because I I don't want to explore too much because there's potential to get relics from um, from exploration. So where exactly do I want to settle this city? Uh, that where that copper is is like a really good spot. Here's a really good spot too. It would like maximize the number of tiles that it has available to it. So I'm going to settle right there. <laughs> Next turn, and then I find my final city will be here. Uh, this is kind of scary. I don't know why the city state is like sending a bunch of units in my direction. 
That's really strange. I'm going to quickly pick up an archer in my capital city to defend myself in case that stuff gets weird. You need orders. Okay, I, I'm going to spread now. Great. So now we have at least one Scythian city, but I want to I want to secure that firmly in my grasp. Um, looks like the uh, didn't securing didn't work quite so well next turn. <laughs> We're happy to let the world know where you stand united as friends. So I am friendly with Saladin. That's really good. I want I would really like to get friendly with Tomiris because I think that provides some defense against her attacking you. So we need to figure out how to how to get her on my side. Yeah, look at this. This is scary as hell. But I guess he's my friend. So I'm less scared of this. I'll get walls. Just in case. The AI wouldn't declare friends with you and then just kill you, would they? I mean, they probably would. I want to get a mine up on this tile to make it better. I'm going to set you to auto explore next turn. Yeah, this looks like he's getting ready to kill me, so I'm going to want to get more units. Uh, I'll finish off this builder or finish off this settler and then I'll go get I'll get some extra units. I'll drop like a wall in this city. Kind of annoying. I do have a lot of gold, actually. I could purchase a library here. Which would help catch me up in science. Because you can see, like, look at this craziness. Saladin's already, like, shooting up to the... over here. Um, I'll purchase. I'll purchase a library. And that'll speed up my science a little bit. I'm going to bring this archer back. She's a civic. Okay, we are also unlock the temple now. Um, I'm gonna want to grant the flanking bonus. I'd also like some envoys. Uh, but the big thing I could be picking up here is okay. I have the holy side adjacency bonuses. Now I would like to get reformed church, but I don't think I I can really afford to rush it. I think I kind of have to grab um, diplomatic service first. And then go for Reformed Church. So what I might do is... I might grab Feudalism. Into... Into what? Uh... I might do like Feudalism, Mercenaries, Diplomatic Service, Reformed Church. It's a very late Reformed Church. But it, I think it's a very... It's a safer reformed church, I think. I'm going to send two envoys to Yerevan to pick up some extra faith per turn. Or just like fiddle with this tile. Now I'm up to 30 faith per turn. Uh, go to unit order. So it looks like his units have left now. Uh, no, they're still there. I will drop a mine on this tile because his mine should be getting improved in the future. This tile right here, I'll stick down a farm next turn to make it better. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a farm here, or a, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drop a farm, I'm gonna drop my city. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just got knowledge of sailing, that's kind of nice to get a little bit of extra science out of stuff. Uh, I don't want to change my government, I've already done that. So this city is pretty much going to be rushing certain things. So let's have a look at the ironworking. So what did we go for? We were going for machinery into celestial navigation into education. I think that's the sort of route we want to go maybe. We'll have a look at that maybe later. So where is my, um, my harbor is going here, my commercial hub is going here. So we're going to pretty much rush those things in this city. Commercial hub granary. Looks like a good move to me. Next turn. So it looks like he's sending his units away. Perhaps he is not planning to kill me. 
That would be very nice if he wasn't. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to call this an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I know we got off to a little bit of a rough start, but I think we're having a good time now. I want to say thank you very much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.